I'm running out of time, every day goes by so fast And every moment counts, baby, I don't wanna miss a thing We can sleep under the stars, we can sleep under the stars Or hang out in hotel bars, driving somewhere in your car We can sleep under the stars, we can sleep under the stars Under the stars Sweep 
away There'll be another day tomorrow Oh, oh, oh Oh, 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 oh Oh, oh, oh Oh, 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 oh Tomorrow I will set things straight Tomorrow's gonna Set things straight Tomorrow Let all our worries fade Let them sweep away There'll be another day Tomorrow It's gonna be okay No matter come what may I'm gonna set things straight Tomorrow Let all our worries fade Let them sweep away There'll be another day you guys are enjoying how this process is coming together. I am so in love with being able to actually have a bed for fruit. This is my first one and this is going to be for my raspberries. I've grown raspberries growing up but I haven't at the new property here. So I mixed in some biotone starter to the topsoil along with some chicken manure. I took apart the bags of the raspberry and blackberries here and I'm going to show you what the roots look like. These are bare root bushes. The first thing I am planting is the triple crown blackberry 
and it is thornless. So this one doesn't have thorns at all and it can be planted March to May. I got these at Tractor Supply and I just wanted one for right now to see how it's going to work out. And hopefully maybe I can find some like bushes at like a nursery or Walmart or somewhere. But this one right here will grow three to five feet tall and it wants three to five feet spacing. I've seen everywhere um, two feet spacing is great for blackberries and raspberries and it's also a zone it's actually a five through nine but right in the package it says the hardiness um, zone note that can be grown outside of its recommended hardiness zone but in colder areas just use winter protection so that's what I'm gonna do and this one right here is the raspberry I didn't see anything really green on them but at the end I'll be watering them and I also fertilize so it's gonna pull them out of dormancy this one right here will grow four to six feet tall and it's a zone three through nine and it would like three to four feet of spacing in this bed there's about a good two feet of spacing between each other and I think that if I do pick up more raspberries and blackberries it'll just be um, one right in front of these so you're gonna see me reading the directions and planting them so for the raspberry it says um, one to two inches deep make sure four to five inches of the topsoil shows above the soil surface and I did leave like a little circular dip in the middle just so that the water sits there and that it can properly get watered because they want um, quite a bit of water um, every week. The blackberry has on the package that it's easy to grow, dependability, less susceptible to pests, and sustainability. And the raspberries are very cold hardy. They are self-pollinating and they are ever bearing. For the Amidi raspberries, that is what they are called, but ever bearing is they will produce fruit in the spring and they will again in the fall.
this is swarming. Why are you so angry? Be happy. Hey, buddy. All right. So, I got that field up here. I'm going to have to leave a shadow. You guys can see it. Just have it in the corner and gloves to fall over. Hopefully, this. This is our well. I'm hoping to put grass there. Get rid of that green hose. So we don't need it. So, so it looks like right now. I can't wait to get these planters. Hot it up. Look at this peony. Thank you so much for watching my video. Please subscribe to my channel. And I will have future updates for you and other things as well, like cooking and of course gardening.